Another five million sex like that, we can retire. Do you fancy Saint-Laurent? Good afternoon, Father. What's good about it? Oh, there's no doubt about it. You cannot beat the joys of living at home. That cheerful welcome at the gate. That sunny smile of pleasure with his kindly old face like <laughs> the joy of seeing his son again. Yeah. <laughs> the warm glow of a roaring fire in the grate. <laughs> <laughs> The delicious smell of dinner wafting in from the kitchen and disappearing at one's hotel. <laughs> Glance warming one into a head of euphoric trance of mouth-watering anticipation. Just <laughs> 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 like a pistol, though, kids. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> and what have we got? Tin of sardines. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my galloping gourmet. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be making steak and kidney pudding today. I, I didn't have time. Maybe you'd have time. You had all day. I've been all day out in the yard. Locked in that bleeding wardrobe. <laughs> Pray, what were you doing in the wardrobe? I was woodworming it. I see. <laughs> and how was you doing that? Was you crawling down the aisles and hitting them on the head with little lemons? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I bought myself a tin of that stuff in the out of my own money. I was in there painting it on and somebody locked the door. I know who it was! Who? It was Superworm, the king of the woodwork! <laughs> With one mighty flick of his tail, the door was shut. Hit up! Yeah. And clamped with his steel like choppers on the key. He spun in the air like a Caffrey wheel. What was all? Incarcerating his mortal enemy in a living tomb. How would you like a tin of sardines round your ear, old? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll get that down, yeah. Oh, look. I couldn't. I couldn't eat another mouthful. I'm full up. I had a bag of crisps for me lunch. <laughs> you want them, don't you? No, I don't. All right, then. Mm. I shall jump into my auto and go down to the Indian restaurant for a tandoori special. What have you got in the sack? Ah, uh, the usual stuff. Got some cream and some dark, mixed rags. A couple of dresses, some blouses, some hats there. Got them off a bird whose granny died. I'll sort them out. Hello. Inland Revenue. Mr. Ice Depto. <laughs> Personal. I'm inland Revenue on with you. You haven't paid any tax in years. You told him you didn't want to join, didn't you? And Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. What's the matter? Yes, sir. One of our inspectors will be calling on you in regard to a discrepancy in your income tax return. The queries in respect of the allowance claim for your wife. We should be grateful if you... <laughs> <laughs> what wife? I've been claiming for your mother. 
She's been dead for 33 years. I know. I never told them. Have you been climbing for all that time? Yeah, well, you say 40 quid a year. I put her down first time by mistake and they didn't say nothing. I've put them down every time since. Harold, what'll they do? Well, you first start. <laughs> but this is a very serious offence, Dad. I mean, this is deliberate fraud. They can fine you up to ten times the amount you've fiddled out of them. I don't have that sort of money. But it's up to two years inside. Prison? Well, she'd hardly think it would be a nudist colony. <laughs> I can't do porridge with my time of life, Harold. I'd never come out. I could never be that lucky. <laughs> you're fortunate you're living in this country, mate. In Saudi Arabia, they'd chop your hands off. <laughs> in the Sudan, they'd chop your what's it off. <laughs> or both. <laughs> oh, well, you'll just have to send your medals back and resign from the British Legion. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Well, what a stupid things to do. You great pudding. You never get away with defrauding the income tax. They always catches you in the end, like the Mounties. They've got nothing else to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, Harold. I'll never do it again. What am I going to do? I don't know. You could plead insanity. <laughs> hey, that's it. You never... Accepted your wife's death. You, you, you still think she's alive. You still talk to her. You, you, you lay her place at the dinner table. You even buy her birthday cards on her birthday. They put me in a nut house. <laughs> well, it's up to you. So for two years inside, the rest of your life in the nut house. God, I don't know what to do. When's he coming? So I knew. What time? Half past four. What time's it now? Half past four. <laughs> You try and look honest. Oh, go, go, go. Play the old soldier. Go and get your medals on. Where's that photograph of Teddy? You smashed it. Well, where's that one of the Queen? Go and put her up. Good afternoon. Afternoon. My name's Greenwood, Inland Revenue. Yes, sir, you, you must be the gentleman they wrote to my father about. That's right. Are your parents in? My, my, my father's in. He's wa waiting for you. And your mother? She's waiting for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's to say that uh, she's expecting him any time now. She's not here. She's sleeping. Oh, would it be inconvenient to wake her up? Well, not so much inconvenient as uh, difficult. <laughs> she's, uh... Yes, it's all right. Uh, I expect your father to be able to answer all the questions I have in mind. Well, won't you come in? Thank oh, you. Please, I, I do think I should warn you that uh, he's getting on a bit, you know. His mind isn't what it was. I mean, he, he sort of uh, rambles a bit. He's a bit vague. He, he tends to fantasise his things. I wouldn't put too much credence on what he says. <laughs> he's a bit senile. <laughs> yeah, well, it's quite straightforward. Yeah, you know, it was a 1480 more that did it, you know. He never came out of it the way he went in. I was intact, physically, of course, except for his teeth. <laughs> but mentally, it's, it's been a great struggle to us all. Yes, well, I'm terribly sorry. Did he get a disability pension? Because he's never entered it in his tax returns. No, 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 he didn't. No, it was very hard in them days. But if you came out in one piece, that's all they worried about. <laughs> <laughs> he's got medals. Oh, yeah. For king and country, it says. A lot of good they done it. Yes, they, they said. Uh, but you'll find government departments these days much more humane, much more understanding. Oh, that is good news. He's inside here. There. Thank you very much. Oh, Father, this is uh, Mr. Greenwood from the Inland Revenue. Good afternoon, Mr. Tipto. How do you do, sir? <laughs> At ease, Father. Mr. Greenwood is going to ask you some questions. I'll be as brief as I can. I'm sure we'll be able to clear it up in no time. What's you sit down? Yeah, well, thank you. Yes, I will. Sorry. Sit down, Father. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, get your drink. Oh, thank you. Yes, a cup of tea would be nice. Oh, cut now. So something a, a little stronger in this cold weather. Well, that's very kind of you, if you're having one. Yes, yes, we will join. Oh, yes. 
<laughs> ah, the old pit squeak and Wilfred, I see. <laughs> Soda? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Your very good health. <laughs> it's um, not often that I can afford the luxury of spirits on my income. <laughs> oh, of course, and neither can we. Uh, this is, in fact, what is left of a present we had from someone in the tribe. Oh, yes, yes. Well, now, let's get down uh, to the excuse point. Excuse me. Yeah? Our dinner. Never mind, Father. It's Friday tomorrow. We'll have a bit of meat. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Uh, yes, uh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> now, the point in question, Mr Steptoe, is the allowances that you claim for your wife. Cheers. Oh, uh, cheers, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they used to give us this when we was going over the top. Tanked us right up, they did. Had to, otherwise you never would have been able to face it. My old platoon was wiped out before it got ten yards. Uh, uh, shocking, oh. shocking. Now, about your wife... Butchers, our generals were. The Germans were crying into their machine guns as they was wiping us out. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Well, now, here, for instance, you claim the full marriage allowance. And cheers! Uh, 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 <laughs> Lions led by donkeys we were. Oh, I wouldn't like to have to go through all that again. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's hope no one ever has to, huh? I'll drink to that. Yes. Peace and prosperity to us all. Peace and prosperity to us all, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> now, uh, you were married in 1918. That's right. I was home on leave. Yes. Blighty wound. Got a bit of shrapnel up me, Harris. <laughs> Painful. <laughs> He's never been the same man since. <laughs> and you've uh, claimed the marriage allowance ever since? Yes, well, I can explain that. Yeah? Uh, I used to have blackouts. Didn't know what I was doing. Uh, cheers! Uh, oh, uh, cheers, yes. yes. Uh, now, um... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when uh, was your wife born, Mr. Sturtip? Mr. Sturtip. 1901. Yeah, exactly. 1901. That's what we have here. So that should mean that she'd be 71 years old. Now, uh, she has been an old age pensioner for six years. Uh, yeah, and well... yet, you have never declared her pension in your income tax returns. Now, that's a very serious omission. Well, hang on a minute. Uh, cheers. Hi. <laughs> the law says that every source of income must be declared on those returns without exception. And that's, that's, that's very, very remiss of you. Very naughty. I've never drawn a pension. You've not drawn your pension? Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, dear. I mean, we can't have that, you know. Why ever not? It's hard enough for the old folk to manage as it is. Mrs. Steptoe must have her pension. I was speak to the Ministry of Security and Social Health about it. <laughs> I know what it is. You hey, old people, you know, you're so proud. It's so silly. <laughs> I mean, sardines for lunch. Oh, no, 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 no. Your mother is entitled to her pension. The wife of an old soldier is a disgrace. I'll personally see that she gets every penny that she's entitled to. And I'll see that she gets it retro retrospectable. Retrospectively. Thank you. Cheers. My job, yes. <laughs> now, let me see. Uh, six years at um, oh, it must be hundreds of pounds. How much? Uh, over a thousand, I should think. Yeah, and. <laughs> You know they can afford it. Just look at the surplus they've got. Hundreds of millions. Now, what's the point of having such a big surplus if some poor little old lady can't get her pension, you know? They'll only go and spend it on the Concord or some other dark bloody thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't find. No, no, no. Not another word. 
I shall speak to the ministry myself, and tomorrow morning there'll be a man round here to see Mrs. Steptoe. Oh, I, I, I should be able to use the money to, to get herself a decent home. Oh, people shouldn't have to live in a place like this, you know. Uh, you just leave everything to me, and I shall... <laughs> I... <laughs> now I'll bid you a good day. Sir, I salute you. And please tell Mrs. Steptoe not to worry about a thing. Huh? Good day to you. Huh? <laughs> I, I shall not cease from mental strife, nor shall my sword sleep in my hand. <laughs> Till we have built Jerusalem in England's green and pleasant land. I used to see the alto part of that match. <laughs> Mind where you're putting your feet, oh, the horse, no. you know. <laughs> <laughs> have, uh, have you got far to go? No, no, it's all right. No, I got my car outside. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's all right, isn't it? Thousand quid. No, it's not all right. That's compounding a felony, this is. You'll get five years now, double bubble. <laughs> yeah, go on, that's it. Get drunk. You might as well. It's the last chance you'll get. The only bars you was going to see in a place where you was going is across the windows. <laughs> I'm from the Ministry of Health and Social Security. I want to speak to Mrs. Steptoe. Yes, you're back coming. Just. Oh, thank you. See, she. Is uh, Mrs. Steptoe at home? Look, we can't let this go on any longer. I quite agree. It's a very lamentable oversight on our part. Still, never mind. I've got the cheque for the six years' arrears. And if you wouldn't mind telling Mrs. Steptoe I'm here, we'll get her to sign the appropriate forms, give her a pension book, and away she goes. Yeah, but where? <coughs> Would you like a drink? Oh. <laughs> You've got vodka? Thank you, no, I, I don't drink. Oh. Well, look, I've got to be perfectly frank with you. I'm afraid that my mother... Oh, Harold! <laughs> I've just come down to the shops. What would you like for your tea? Oh, you've got company. Mrs. Steptoe. <laughs> yes? Uh, Mrs. Gladys Steptoe. Uh, yes? <laughs> I can't apologise enough for, for, for this terrible mistake, but rest assured, we'll soon put it right. Look! Mother. <laughs> Why don't you go down to the shops and let me sort things out? Why don't you mind your own business? Uh, your mother knows what she's doing. <laughs> I don't know what she'll be doing if she gets caught. <laughs> but by my father, that is. You know he doesn't like you signing anything when he's not in the house. Go and get him. I can sign anything I like. I don't have to ask my husband's permission. Well, as you wish, if you just sign this here... <laughs> Gladys... Mary... Steptoe. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Now, here is the cheque for £1,150 back pension. <laughs> and here is your new pension <laughs> starting this week. And long may you live to spend it. Oh, thanks ever so. Well, that's it then. I, uh, I won't uh, bother you any longer. Oh. I'm sorry to have missed Mr. Steptoe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come now. Show your gratitude, Mummy. I mean, don't just shake hands. I think he deserves a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it's not every day you get a cheque for £1,100. Come on. Give the gentleman a little kiss. <laughs> Goodbye, my dear. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Very uh, unusual woman, your mother. You don't know how unusual. <laughs> 
she, she really seems to have something other women haven't. <laughs> she has. She has. Well, goodbye. <laughs> Take care of her. Oh, yes. Don't worry. I'll take care of her, all right. <laughs> don't worry. I'll take care of her. Right now. <laughs> you don't know I've a lot of stupid things to do. What's the matter with you? But take that silly hat and that wig off. You look like old Mama Riley. <laughs> How long do you think you can keep up this ludicrous masquerade? As long as I have to. Shouldn't be difficult. All I have to do is to dress up once a week, go down and draw me pension, that's all. Ooh. <laughs> this nicker elastic don't half cut into your legs. <laughs> You're not turning funny, are you? <laughs> what you got those things on for? What? I'm not going up the stairs on a bus without them, I'm telling you. <laughs> You'll never get away with it. One of these days, you'll forget to put them on, and the conductor will catch you, and you'll both go inside. <laughs> Are you asking for a clap round no, here, Al? That's what I like. That's what I like. A bit of spirit. What's your name, darling? Mind your own business. Yeah, Gladys. Gladys. Oh, that's a nice name. I like that. Cheers, did you? I'm Norman. How do you do? You do that again, Mush and I'll... You're what? I'll call a policeman. I'm a policeman. At least I was. I'm retired now. <laughs> oh, well, it's been very nice. Yes, well, hang on. You haven't got your money yet. Only one in front of you, won't be long. Yes, I was a son in the fraud squad. <laughs> yes, you'd be surprised at the swindles people get up to. Oh, but not what got past right. me, though. One, two, oh, no, three. I can tell the fiddlers a mile off. Relentless I was. Yeah. Never gave up. I got my teeth into a case, that was it. Thanks. I always got them in the end. Bye-bye. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I want a word with you. <laughs> what are you doing this afternoon? Huh? <laughs> Going to come to pictures? Oh, no, I can't. I have to go home and get my son's dinner ready. Oh, he must be big enough to get his own. Get in for a bob, my treat, and if you're a very, very good girl, I might even give you hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Well, it's a good programme. What are you doing after the orgy? Hi. <laughs> well, that's the title. That and uh, wife swapping, French style war. Oh no, I don't think I like that. I'm not that sound of girl. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me. Yes. Well, um, I'll yes, well, see you outside. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Where the bleeding hell have you been? 
<laughs> Gordon Bennett, what's happened to you? Has somebody had a go at you? Yeah, a dirty old ex-copper. I think he fancies me. An ex-copper? Well, he could do a lot worse, Mother. <laughs> now, it's no joke, Harold. I think he wants to marry me. Well, I'm not surprised. You're a very attractive-looking woman. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Fraud squad, he said he was. Yeah. If he picks me up in the, in the post office anymore, he, even he's liable to find out. Oh, what am I going to do, Harold? I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to send that money back right now. Hey? Anonymously. How about the pension I've collected every week? Not if you write what I tell you. Now, come on, write. Uh, dear Mr Greenwood, as we regret, I have to inform you... Yeah, I'll... It's for you. It's for you. Dear Mr. Stepto, I was very sad indeed to hear of the tragic death of your wife. This is how you do work with a nuclear. There's more. However, before we close that file, there is the question of death duties to clear up. I assume she will have left her estates to be shared between you, your son, and your daughter. In which what daughter? <laughs> Who the... Who is Muriel? <laughs> My daughter. The one I've been claiming for. She's 35. <laughs> well, you can't claim for a daughter of 35. She works for me. Miss secretary, I've been giving her 12 quid a week. I give up! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you out of one hole and you go and dig yourself another one. <laughs> it's only a formality. Mr Greenwood says all he wants is her, her signature. And... He says that in order to save time, he will come round here and see Muriel personally. <laughs> Harold. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, me, no, no, no. Now, it'll only be the ones. I'll sack her next week. No! I mean it. I'm not doing it under no circumstances. I've finished. This time, you go to the Nick. And it won't be Holloway. <laughs> oh, good afternoon. Oh. oh, good afternoon, Mr Greenwood. Do come in. Thank you. It's nice to see you again. I am so very sorry about your dear wife. It was a great shock to us all. She didn't suffer. Oh, good, good. Uh, well, this won't take long. Ah, you. Thank you. <clears throat> Would you like a drink? Uh, no, uh, no, no, I don't think I'd better. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just get your three signatures and I'll be off. Well, Harold's out on the round, but Muriel's here. I'll call her. Muriel! Children must be a great comfort to a man at a time like this. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's a good girl. <laughs> you called for <laughs> yeah. This is Mr Greenwood from the, uh, from the Inland Revenue. I'm with you, you're <laughs> <laughs> um, May I offer my... Condolences, Miss Steptoe. I almost feel I knew your mother personally. <laughs> oh, there, there, there. there. <laughs> Take courage, my dear. Now, don't give way, my dear. Don't give way. Just come and sit here. That's right. Just have your signature, eh? No, 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 don't be frightened, dear. Don't be frightened. Well, now. if you'll excuse me, I'll leave you two together. I'll just pop out and see what's happened to Harold. No, no! <laughs> no, just your signature, if you don't mind. That's right. Oh, oh, oh. 